When learning the basics to illustrate, it can really help speed up your workflow knowing the right shortcuts. What's up designers, welcome back to Digitrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the five must know shortcuts when working with a pen tool to help you become more efficient. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday, helping you become a better designer. Let's jump over to Illustrator and take a look at these must know shortcuts. The first shortcut that we're gonna look at is the shortcut to access the pen tool. And to do that, we use P on the keyboard and you'll notice the pointer switch over to the pen tool. But if you have caps lock enabled when you press P on the keyboard, you'll notice that the pointer switches to a cross instead. But you can quickly fix that by just disabling caps lock. And once you've done that, you can simply just start clicking and plotting your anchor points wherever you wish. The second shortcut we're gonna look at is holding the command or control key whilst the pen tool is enabled. And what this does is it switches the pen tool over to the direct selection tool. And from here, you can do all of the good things you're used to doing with the direct selection tool or without coming out of the pen tool. You can move the shapes and if you select individual anchor points, you can manipulate them. If you select on your lines, you can move them and all without going outside of the pen tool. And the second you let go of the command or control key, it switches back to the pen tool. The next shortcut for the pen tool we're gonna to look at is using Alt or Option. So if I do that, you'll see that the pen tool switches over to the anchor point tool. And what this will allow you to do is it allow you to manipulate the anchor points, adding in handles. It allows you to split handles so you can change the direction that the handles are going. You can use that to fine tune the shape even further. And again, all without coming outside of the pen tool. So to recap on that one, if I do it straight on the anchor point here, it draws out both handles so I can switch a sharp corner to a curve. And if I do it on one of the anchor point tips, it actually allows me to break the lock between the handles and change the direction and orientation of the handles. You can also use this shortcut whilst working on a path itself. So say I was drawing a path here, and then I want to break this anchor point here. If I press Alt on the keyboard and then come and select my handle, you'll see that I can break those handles from working together. The next shortcut we're gonna look at is using Shift C on the keyboard. And that also brings up the anchor point tool. So we can do all the same things we just spoke about with the anchor point tool. It's also worth mentioning whilst we've got our anchor point tool at, so if we have handles on a corner and we want to remove them, if we come into the center and click on the anchor point, that'll actually delete both of the handles from there. The final shortcut is using plus and minus on the keyboard to remove and add anchor points. So if we take the square that I've got here, what I can do is by using the plus key to switch it over to the add anchor point tool, and you can see that I can add in additional anchor points along my path. And if I were to switch press the minus key, it switches the tool over to the minus anchor point tool. And what I can do is I can remove anchor points using that as well. So there we have it. Those are some quick shortcuts that you can use to maximize your workflow when working in Illustrator. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching designers. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give it a like, and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social. It really helps reach more people, educate them on building better brands and showing them what actually goes into designing them. And shop the merch to support the channel and share your part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week, designers.